Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to replace the driver side front window regulator on 1998 to 2004 Isuzu Rodeo. The vehicle used for this illustration was built in 2001. Step number one, start by removing the Phillips screw that fastens the door handle inner trim. Next, pull on it from the end closest to the outer edge of the door to expose the plastic lever shown with the yellow arrow. Use needle nose pliers to compress the end of the plastic lever and detach it from the handle by prying on it gently with a flat screwdriver. Once the lever has been detached, remove the door handle. Pull on the plastic trim shown in the image straight out and remove it from the door panel. Remove the upper screw shown with the yellow arrow. Next, remove the lower screw. Pull by hand on the plastic trim located on the inner side of the side view mirror and remove it from the door. Pull the window and door lock switch combo straight out to release the retaining metal tabs from the door panel. Press on the plastic tab with your thumb and pull on the connector to disconnect the harness from the switch combo. Remove the switches and set them aside. Pry on the opening located at the right lower section of the plastic speaker cover and remove it from the door panel. Remove the three screws shown with the yellow arrows. Next, remove the four screws that hold the speaker in place shown with the blue arrows and pull the speaker away from the door panel gently a few inches. Disconnect the electrical plug from the speaker and remove the speaker all the way. Use either a pry bar or a plastic trim tool to release the door panel fasteners that hold the door panel to the door starting at the bottom and working your way around it on both sides. Use care when you do this so you don't scratch the paint. Once the retaining clips have been detached, pull on the door panel upwards to clear the door lock mechanism. Disconnect the tweeter speaker electrical connector shown in the image. Detach the speaker wiring retaining tab from the door panel. Take note that it's easier to do it from the outer side by pressing on the plastic tabs with needle nose pliers and pushing the retainer out at the same time. Disconnect the dome light electrical connector and remove the door panel all the way. Pull on the plastic shield with your hand to expose the window regulator retaining bolts. Detach the window regulator wiring retaining tab from the door by pressing on the plastic tabs with needle nose pliers and pushing it in at the same time. Next, disconnect the electrical connector from the window regulator. Remove the two upper bolts that fasten the window motor shown in the image. Next, remove the lower bolt that fastens the motor to the door. Remove the two screws shown with the yellow arrows that fasten the glass to the regulator. Pull upwards on the glass to release it from the regulator and gently slide it all the way down Till it sits at the bottom of the door. Remove the two lower window regulator retaining bolts shown on the image. Next, remove the right upper retaining bolt and loosen the one on the left side. Slide the regulator up to release the left upper bolt from the door, tilt the entire assembly sideways and start pulling it out. Finish pulling the entire assembly out with care. Set the old regulator next to the new one to make sure that they match. If the new regulator didn't come with a hardness retaining tab, you will need to swap it from the old one. Remove the rubber seal from the plug, insert a small screwdriver in the opening to release the locking clip, slide the plastic retainer out and install it on the new regulator, followed by installing the left upper retaining screw just a few threads. 
Slide the new regulator in sideways just the same way the old one came out, but make sure that the window motor faces the same way the one on the image is facing. Slide the left upper retaining bolt through the opening and allow the regulator to slide down to its mounting location. Align and install all the other screws. Once all of them are installed, tighten them up. And do the same with the three window motor retaining bolts. Pull on the back side of the glass upwards with one hand and guide the other side into the window track followed by the side you lifted up first. Next, guide the glass into the window regulator bracket, install the two retaining bolts and tighten them up. Connect the window motor electrical plug and fasten the plastic harness. Temporarily plug the window switch to the vehicle's harness, turn the ignition key on, and roll the window up and down to make sure that it slides correctly on the window tracks and nothing blinds. If the window rolls up and down correctly, disconnect the harness from the window switch, install all the remaining components in the reverse order they were removed, and you're done. And that's it. Super simple and quick. Take care.